We've examined a number of artillery systems in use in Ukraine, including the venerable M101 howitzers and the MT100s mounted on MTLBs. Check out our videos on those if you haven't already. However, one of the smallest and most interesting howitzers in use is the OTO Malara Mod 56. The Mod 56 is a small 105mm pack howitzer. It weighs about 1.29 metric tons and can be towed by light vehicles. It has a split trail gun carriage and a hydro pneumatic recuperator assembly. Developed by Italy's OTO Malara, the gun entered service in the mid 1950s and is seen use with countries around the world, including Italy, the UK, Australia, Spain, Pakistan, and the Philippines. Much like the heavier M101 howitzers transferred to Ukraine by Lithuania, the Mod 56 can use any M1 105 ammunition. With its short 1.47 meter long barrel, the Mod 56 has a maximum effective range of around 10,000 meters or six miles. While this puts it at a severe disadvantage compared to the larger 155 howitzers used by Ukraine and the 152 millimeter guns used by Russia, the small Mod 56 has the advantage of being lightweight and can be deployed forward under cover. The most useful role for the Mod 56 is likely as an infantry support gun. In November 2022, Spain's defence minister confirmed that Spain would send a battery of six light howitzers and also provide training for Ukrainian gun crews. Subsequently, a brief clip of Ukrainian gunners training on the Mod 56 was shared in late November, along with some extra photographs. The guns were seen in Ukraine for the first time in early January, with a short clip of one of the guns firing being shared on the 11th of January. It appears the gunner is wearing a National Guard patch, but it's unclear which unit the gun belongs to. On the 12th of January, the 1st Mechanized Battalion of Ukraine's 3rd Assault Brigade posted an infographic giving some basic detail on the Mod 56. On the 20th of February, a brief clip of a Mod 56 was shared. The footage was believed to have been filmed in the vicinity of Bakhmut. However, photographs taken by an AP photographer, Libkos, of the same gun showed that it was actually in action around Adavivka. The series of photographs also shows that the gun is being operated by a National Guard unit and that the crew was using drone footage to select their targets. One of the photographs was also shared by President Zelensky on the 5th of March. Interestingly, the gun is seen without its shield. Another video of one of the guns in action was shared on the 16th of April. It was then several months before more imagery of the Mod 56s in use appeared. But on the 1st of June, the Ukrainian National Guard shared a photograph of one of the guns, and several days later, on the 3rd of June, a short video of the gun in action was also shared online. Most recently, on the 19th of July, a Ukrainian National Guard unit shared a brief clip of a Mod 56 firing. The video also nicely illustrates the gun's breech mechanism. From the available imagery, it appears that the guns are operated by Ukraine's National Guard though which artillery unit is unclear. While it's been confirmed that Spain has provided at least six of the Mod 56 howitzers, it remains unknown if any other countries, such as Italy, have provided any of the small guns as well. Thanks for watching, guys. In the future, I think we're going to do a roundup of all of the 155 howitzers that are in use in Ukraine at the moment. So stay tuned for that one. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this interesting. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe please consider supporting us via Patreon or YouTube memberships. Check out armorersbench.com for more information and the accompanying article for this video. Thanks again for watching. Catch you next time.